Hello guys, WSU Cougar Rex here. Well, I think uh, today is the day to do another Gamma Goat video, as if there weren't enough already on my page. But uh, today I'm going to pull this goat out. Unfortunately, the last time I drove her is when I parked her, uh, oh my goodness, two, two years ago? Yeah, the last uh, 4th of July get-together down in Centralia, Washington was the last time I drove this truck. I uh, didn't drive it at all last year, uh, just due to being busy so much uh, with work and this whole COVID garbage that's going on. So I need to get this goat pulled out I need to clean all the junk underneath it. And, you know, as you know, if you got a vehicle in the garage, it turns into a big, uh, I don't know, holding container, if you will, of just junk it and throw it in the back. So uh, right now I need to pull her out. I've got just all kinds of garbage underneath the truck inside the uh, actual trailer or the carrier itself. So yeah, without further ado, um, we'll do a little walkthrough, walk around video. I'll probably just post that as another a separate video because I'm not into this video editing stuff, nor do I have the time to do that. But uh, I'm just getting a little glimpse around here. So we'll get in, get her started, pull her out. And uh, I'm just really curious for my own self, how long it's going to take for that transfer case to get itself lubed up before it's good to go. As you know, this is the uh, the Keeleys of these vehicles, or at least uh, one of them, is the uh, transfer case in this poor, really poor design. I'm not sure what the French were thinking. Uh, they probably were given uh, certain specifications for the transfer case. They probably didn't have uh, much to work with, so they just kind of heated to the uh, designers who designed this thing and uh, just kind of went with it. But as you know, the uh, oil pump on these transfer cases aren't all that great and a lot of times they do lose prime and it, you lose prime or it just takes a while for it to actually prime um, the transfer case so you get lube to the upper gear so yeah we'll see so let me get myself climbed into this vehicle it's always a uh, lesson in contortioning let me put the camera down so I can actually get myself inside so just bear with me here Definitely, yeah. Two handed. Make sure you have three points of contact every time you get in these things. Alright. Well, I guess the first thing is see if we have any battery power. But, as shown in a previous video, this is my uh, uh, hose I have hooked up just uh, north of the uh, oil pump. So, we'll see how long it actually takes for it to, to pump. Uh, gear oil up to that area so let's make sure everything's out of gear let's take the brake off just for what the heck uh, make sure she's in gear all right let's get her started up uh surprisingly volts are actually pretty good so starter <laughs>
that's, that's a good lesson right there. Um, put your transfer keys in neutral, and uh, it'll pop it up much quicker. All right, we'll do a walk around uh, a little bit later. Uh, WSU Cougarettes out.